Hello everybody, Chris Wood here. How's everybody doing this afternoon? I'm actually just on here for a quick minute to say hello and also to say congratulations to Ontario Provincial Police Spencer Mills 14716 ex-chief or commander before leaving Napanee 2019 Shannon Cork, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas, Staff Sergeant, years 2019-2021 Stacy, a mental health worker, was Daily Tea Company, Napanee, Nell Kingston and Shelley Hafner, Hafner After four years of injuring, torturing, medical blacklisting, stalkings and murders this to me has done my full fucking identity theft right now I've been skull split I've been body split my lungs my kidneys have been damaged medically blacklisted I cannot go to a hospital I have been charged for wanting help through proving stuff that they are calling lies delusions hallucination I'm in a fucking I'm going through identity theft I'm being mentally fucked up and this is through OB, OPP for me speaking of their crimes since 2019 their human trafficking human sex trade slavery trafficking their brain injuring torturing victims committing identity thefts and frauds with junkies and wanna harbored inmates named dale van or dale hartwick tony hearns blair hardy billy waldridge tyler lake and a jason van Alstein. they are drug fed money paid pieces of shit here in napany they are untouchable without twenty two thousand dollars because they can implicate the pieces of shit cops who are who they are working for or they are owned by them either way they cannot be touched because they will implicate and can prove everything I've been fucking full skull split seriously brain and body damaged once again I'm having problems thinking more and more I'm going through more fucking identity changes and no matter what I show and prove there's nothing I can do about it because this is police revenge human sex trade slavery trafficking children and adults to pedophiles and sex offenders using R&M tracking on people Bill Waldrich thinks that he is me thinks that he's Harry Potter believes that he is a lot of other fucking people and you're turning me into this I am the end of my bloodline OPPB and you are guilty of murdering my mother you're guilty of having my dogs killed you're guilty of murdering the wood bloodline I said it before I'll say it again Anytime you bastard terrorists want to go and dig up my dad and exhume his body to prove DNA because of what you've done to me with the doctor's help for four fucking years to get away with this while preventing me help every step of the way, the justice of the peace, the cops and doctors that you are using and aiding and lying and using your badges, positions, credentials to fuck people's lives poor homeless elderly disabled beware kind of funny how i'm starting to look like jason gimpy two-step van alstein a reject from society who is nothing but a fucking shit stain stalking homosexual fucking inbred low-life garbage he's approximately 35 years old i am 51 and you're completely changing me to look like this fucking piece of shit congratulations because he's not doing this himself opp he did not get this fucking tech. He does not have the fucking common sense to use this. He is a serious crackhead burnout. He is a rat informant. He is Robert Kane's little cocksucker. And this is how it's being done. You want to fry my fucking brains to mentally fuck me up while preventing me help to get away with it? Having me falsely charged for the crimes that you're committing on me with these pieces of shit. You are no fucking good one way or another. I'm going to sue your fucking asses. And I will prove my words one way or another. This is no threat. Time is bought. Damage done. Any mistaken identity will not be mistaken identity because they stole my blood and piss. And the whole point of this is to have me taken as one of these fucks by this identity theft. And I will not be proven wrong. Right, OPP, you fucking terrorist. This is how you frame people. This is why you arrest them and steal their blood and piss so you can completely fucking change their identity while fucking them over using your badges, positions, and lies. 
don't think because I'm starting to look like these bastards I'm gonna fucking suck any OPP dick because it's not gonna happen I have no control over my head either so time it's done times bought one way or another you're gonna fucking answer for what you've done to me Hartwick, Hearns, LeBlow, Hardy Woolridge, Lake, Van Alstine whether in Kingston or Napanee with the fentanyl through the fucking hub and everything else you're drug lacing drug dealing pieces of shit damage done times bought one way or another I will get arrest OPP I will see your fucking asses in jail and I will sue you for 50 million plus dollars you fucking cunts and I don't care about that word because that's exactly what you are you are garbage you done this to me this is your responsibility and I'm the doctors who you've been aiding who've been aiding with this Tyler fucking Lake Jason Gimpy two-step and all Stein you're getting me to look like crackhead pieces of shit so you can mistake me as them so they can steal my fucking identity and try to steal everything else from me like my identity my checks my pensions because you're fucking low life financial thefts and fraud you're you're involved in money laundering, welfare thefts and frauds. So this is nothing to you, you pieces of shit and Hartwick. You are involved with the same people who have murdered my mother, so congratulations. I thought you liked her, you fucking goof. I'm gonna get off here, just remember one thing, all of this can be 100% proven to. My neck, all right in here, is completely gone. Tyler fucking Lake, Tony Hearns, Hartwick, Van Alstine. Completely changed my fucking identity by deforming my skull and completely mentally fucking me up. How dare you, you pieces of shit. Uh, this better be, this better be shared to let everybody know what kind of terrorist bastards these cops are and the doctors who are helping them fucking end bloodlines for inmate sex offenders and junkies families are murdered and missing it is Ontario Provincial Police who are involved with these crimes and that needs to be taken serious anybody goes missing you check the cops